For the Love of Chocolate is an event that starts with big ideas and big dreams. You know the kind of dreams we're talking about. They're the dreams where you can change your life, where you can build something huge, where you can make a difference. In fairy tales, it's the classic Jack and the Beanstalk story. You remember how it goes. Jack's magic beans lead him into new adventures. Well, this is a story about beans, too. Thousands of them. And in this case, they are covered with chocolate. The deal is we have been asked from, from the French Pastry School, who does the Love of Chocolate event every year. In the last three or four years prior, we have participated in a small manner. All right, Franco decided that he wanted a bigger project. The theme this year is a Candyland theme. So what better to project Candyland than a jelly bean? So he had asked if I would be willing to build a jelly bean. So I'm thinking, okay, fine. We'll build one, you know, 18 inches long, a couple inches high, and we'll have it out there. He said, oh, no, Gloria. We want it 10 feet long, 7 feet high, 3 feet wide. And I went, take a deep breath, you know, and said, okay. So as often happens when someone has a dream, the first step was to sketch the idea out onto simple note paper. The next step was to find a supporter. Jelly Belly is a supporter of our foundation. When we first got to talking and wanted to put something together, they had just developed a product called a chocolate dip, the dip. So it's a Jelly Belly covered with chocolate. And when I took a look at it, it looked to me exactly like Cloudgate, which in Chicago is referred to as the bean. Two beautiful things that came together, and I thought, why don't we put that in real life form at our gala? At first we were thinking, let's do this with students of the French Pastry School. But in essence, we decided to bring After School Matters and Gloria Haffer with her group into working with us. You know, and he said, I know your kids could do it. And he said, let's, let's do this. We'll use Jelly Belly Beans. It'll be the showcase prominent piece at the event. And um, would you be willing to take on this challenge? Well, as I tell my kids, you never say never. And you always take on the challenge. And if you work hard enough, as I tell them, and you show people that you're good enough, you will succeed in no matter what you do. I don't care if you're digging a ditch. You'll be the best ditch digger there is, and you will be successful. Sometimes you need a, a, a crazy event and a crazy project like this to wake up some young people who want to uh, join our profession and say, this is amazing. And then we get their attention, and then uh, they maybe go to Gloria first, and then Gloria sends them to the French Pastry School after that. I'm really excited about it. A little bit nervous. I, I honestly don't think it's going to fit through the door, but I mean, if, if it doesn't, we'll eventually figure out something, but I'm, I'm extremely excited about it. Well, I hope we get it done. <laughs> this is a big project. It's just a phenomenal opportunity. When uh, an organization such as French Pastry School approaches us and asks us if we want to collaborate on a project like this, it ties the teams in to those next step opportunities where they're able to work with skilled professionals from the French Pastry School, be able to talk to them about how did you start your career, how did you get there. Uh, they're able to go to the French Pastry School and, and really you know, understand what it's like, what a career in the culinary arts is going to be for them. Well, we're dividing the bean up into six sections. And each, all of the kids, there were probably 60, 70 kids at the meeting, along with adult mentors, are going to be assigned a section of the bean that they are going to be responsible for planning out, putting the chocolate on, and securing the beans. She needed extra help, and, uh, well, actually, she really doesn't. But uh, it's just such a fun thing to do, and when she asks, I can't say no. Miss Hafer is my second mom. I can go, I can go to her whenever, whenever I need anything. Miss <laughs> Hafer is funny. You know, she's very strict at times, but you know, everybody is. She's actually very outgoing, if you ask me. I mean, she does a lot, and she gives up a lot for us, and I think that's really sweet. You know, it shows she's got a big heart. She's, she's amazing. 
that's that's the only word I could find to describe her. Well, the French pastry school had a brainstorm or a beanstorm or whatever, and they said, well, we're going to make this replica of Cloudgate, and it's something we've always sort of thought about, but we couldn't quite figure out how to do um, because it does look like a jelly belly turned upside down. So when they said, oh, well, we can do a half-size replica of it, of it, I said, okay, you want to give it a shot? Go for it. For the first time, we have chocolate. So we're introducing jelly bean chocolate dips. So all of a sudden, all the pieces came together in the most natural sort of way. Jelly Belly loves chocolate, too. And now we got chocolate-covered beans. Oh, yeah, I'm psyched. I can't believe, you know, I'm going to perform downtown. The amount of jelly beans we're going to have to work with and all that. Yeah, it gives me chills. And the saver told me that, too, about who we're going to work with and whatnot. They have the uh, after-school matters. Um, symbol and then they have the French pastry symbol and on the back side it's the um, Chicago skyline and the heart in the middle so basically they're going to cover up with jelly beans and um, different colors. And we'll be here Tuesdays, Wednesdays and Thursdays that's the session that I'll be in and then there's other students that do it Saturday, Sunday and Monday and I'll be coming after school till around 7 until you know. Until it's done? Yes. And remember what we said earlier about Full Circle. Students from the After School Matters program have gone on to benefit from the scholarship in their own career train. I applied for the For Love of Chocolate Scholarship and they asked me to do the fashion show, the dress fashion show for the love of chocolates. That's what I'm doing now. I go back and help Gloria Hafer with her other little cakelings. <laughs> it's a mentor them a little bit and tell them how I've gotten so far just being with her. So it may look like a handful of beans right now, but just wait. Thanks to Jelly Belly and After School Matters, this exhibit for the Love of Chocolate Foundation is starting to take shape. You never say never, you always take on the challenge, and you will succeed. Our Jack would be getting ready to climb. Come back for the next segment as they set up for the main event. More to come.